So there are two pieces of gear that we use where you're not collecting a physical sample, you're collecting data. So in one case, we use a light meter to determine the clarity of the water, and we use that in river, deeper river and lake ecosystems. And in the other case, we use a multimeter, and, this, and I have a hydro lab, but we normally use a piece of equipment called a YSI out in the field. And that multimeter allows us to collect uh, pH, dissolved oxygen, temperature, and uh, specific conductivity. So what I want to do is show you a little bit about each of the setups with these meters. So what we've got here is our light meter, and it's got a detector right here that <laughs> that allows us to determine the amount of uh, photons, essentially, uh, getting to that detector. And this detector is actually lowered into the water. And we start at the surface, and then we go down by 10 centimeter intervals. So you can see the... And the uh, light that makes it to the detector decreases, as you can imagine, as we go down. In order to uh, normalize, because you probably recognize that light can change uh, throughout the course of even a short collection like this. It could be sunny one minute and then a cloud comes over the sun. And so we also set a detector up on the uh, surface, the boat or whatever we're using. And so then we can do a calculation that gives us the real amount of uh, light or light intensity uh, based on cloud cover and things like that we can normalize. So this uh, meter is connected to a handheld reading device. Um, we use a LI1500, LICOR 1500 light meter in this class. And this meter has uh, two inputs, one for the detector itself that's going to be underwater, and then the other for the uh, above ground one, or the above water one. <laughs> okay, so this meter will give us readings for both input um, for light intensity. So as I mentioned earlier, we use a multimeter. I wanna show you the multiple detectors. And you can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six detectors. And so we don't use all the data or we don't uh, use everything on a meter like this. We particularly aim for the specific conductivity, dissolved oxygen, uh, temperature, uh, depth, definitely we want to know depth, and um, pH. And so in order to protect these very delicate meters um, in the water, we put a protective cage around them. And then uh, the smarts on this device is connected up here, a uh, handheld uh, uh, display device that tells you what the detectors are seeing. And uh, we write those down. So the other device we use to measure uh, water clarity is called the Secchi Disc, and this is all there is to it. It's very simple. Um, you can see that it has uh, it's half white and half black. This makes it easier to see in the water, and the way you use this device, this particular one, has uh, markings every uh, centimeter. And so you just uh, lower it until you just can't see it anymore. And then you uh, lift it up until you can see it. And then you uh, measure the distance um, that the water level hits at. And that is the second depth for that particular reading. And we have all students measure that. And you'll see on the data sheet um, once we get into it next week uh, what that data looks but it's a good comparison between the light horror light meter and the Secchi to see which one, whether the readings are in the same ballpark. Uh, and so we, we always incorporate that into the class and 